That is neither here nor there. I was just wondering, perhaps, a husky lad like myself might partake in the cheesy edge of the spaghetti cake dish that you and your colleagues have so well prepared. What did bitch do? Scoop me some right out the middle with no cheese on it. Clump, I just black out. Bitch, that's why you ain't got no 401k, no health insurance, and used to work here. My brother used to go here, bitch. Go to the office. What's up, man? It's your boy, comedian Ronnie Jordan. HBO's Bad Boys of Comedy and Fat Man at the Dope. Y'all know me. Also, the Ryan. The writer on the Ryan Cameron Morning Show. And y'all about to witness my comedy grind. job. I, I just started top of the year. I'm the head right on the Ryan Cameron Morning Show. About to jump in the car. My homeboy Vince is in there. We had the University of Tampa. And going out to do the show. Turn it right back around right after the show. Get back here at 5 a.m. Well, 4.30 a.m. actually to start in another Leaving V103, man. About to head over to, uh, head up to Tampa. Actually, down to Florida. Finishing the big man on campus tour. It's the second half of the second semester. It's usually, you know, hot this time of year down there, but we just left St. Pete and uh, Miami and Daytona. It's like 35 degrees down there. We're about to go Atlanta, Tampa, Tampa, Bay. About to consume a chicken biscuit. I hope you don't tape all of it because it's going to be very quick. I don't know, man. It was like, like uh, I just talked to Walter, being real cool. And he was just telling me, like, towards the end, of, right when they went back on tour after the movie dropped, they were paying them all six figures a night. You know what I'm saying? Like, six figures to me, that's that's a hundred, right? <laughs> that's at least a hundred thousand, right? So, per night, it's a lot of dudes making a good living just telling jokes, you know what I'm saying? So... And they still work hard and do other shows. That's what made me want to work hard. You see, when you see a millionaire working hard, you know, ain't no excuse to be chilling. My goal in this comedy is just to maintain what I got. Um, you know, build a brand a little more. Maybe have my own kind of like talk radio show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe, you know, a podcast, something like that. Something I can pass on to, to my kids whenever when I have them. You know, and I want to I wanna have my own, you know, I want to have my t-shirts in stores. I'm already working towards the stuff I want. I want um, my dad's a chef, so I want to, you know, be able to buy him that, you know, him and my wife want to do like a food truck business, and we're looking at stuff now, so I'm kind of rolling up on my goals. Of course, I want to do TV and film, but that ain't the whole thing for me. It's more like, I like I'm proud of being like a, go grab the mic and do show. I can rip the stage anytime I feel like a comedian. Cause some of these dudes get famous and go to L.A., you know, do you know what I'm saying? Do movies. That's great. Of course, you want to do movies. If anybody tell you they don't want to do movies and be on TV all the time, they lie. Some of these dudes is chasing that movie shit and they stage shit is lacking. And they not even doing no movies like that. You do one movie that came on Netflix and you, you talk about I can't go on stage and stuff. So my goals are, you know, to maintain what I got. Of course, do TV and film, but you know, just build a brand and own my own stuff. I come from the Master P era, man. Like. When I first did comedy, uh, I was supposed to sign up this big company in LA and they wanted like 25% of good deals. But anything I pressed up and I had my own, I, I was pressing up my own comedy CD for Dr. Trump. And I don't believe in getting nobody nothing if they ain't had no party. You know what I'm saying? So I just believe in owning everything. Yeah. Yeah. The difference between me and you is I'd rather get money and try to flip me something. They can't tell me nothing. The difference between me and you. Is you better sit on your ass, okay. back up from another man, uh -huh. holding out your hand, the difference.